My name is Gloria Matondo Kwazambi Kambwala. It means glory and thanks be to God Almighty. I personally believe it's what my mom said when she did come to the United States. I've always cherished that name. But my aunts, they tell my mom, oh Dora, why this one? Why did you name her that? They tell my nieces and my nephews and my cousins, do not be like Gloria. Gloria does not clean, Gloria does not cook. No man will ever pay Gloria's dowry. You see, my whole existence, that's what worth was considered. So right now you see Gloria, a CEO of a tech company. But what's true in all reality is in 1980, my mother came to the United States as a refugee from the Democratic Republic of Congo. She came with two outfits, my two little brothers, and her mathematics degree from the Congo. Upon arrival, she was told that the education she achieved was actually invalid here in the United States, as well as the education of my brothers. Now this is somewhat absurd because my mother's degree is in mathematics. So uh, Vlad, in your country, uh, two plus two, what does it equal? I, uh, if I remember well, I think it was four. Four, uh, okay. Uh, sir, in, in your country, two plus two, what does it equal? Anyone? It still equals four. In the United States, two plus two equals four because mathematics is the only language that is shared across humanity, regardless of religion, language, or gender. So in all reality, the only difference from the material that my mother learned in the Congo and the material that she would learn here in the United States was the accrediting body that gave her the degree. At Shul, we believe in actually meeting learners where they are and validating their actual education that they receive, regardless of their educational system. So what is Shul? Shul is a decentralized education system. What we do is we tokenize micro lessons and we store those as a virtual transcript on the blockchain. Basically, if you go to the market and you learn two plus two equals four, then we say that is valid and that you should be able to share that experience. My mother is the reason why I am an engineer. To put it simply, I am very techy because my mother is not techy at all. I was the one who had to talk to the IT department. I was the one who had to set up the computers. I was the one who had to set up her email or talk to the Google when things don't work right. Yet with all this interest into technology, no one ever looked at me and thought, ha, huh, we should encourage her to become an engineer. The main reason was their own biases. They see a woman and they don't think of an engineer. So it was later on in life when I was working a job consistently telling the IT department what they should be doing to fix my own computer at work that I thought maybe I should go ahead and go take a degree in this. And even though I took a class and eventually got a degree, it was the learning that I got outside of the classroom through YouTube videos, mentor sessions, workshops, et cetera, that really gave me the most impact on my actual career. So I ask you to go a step beyond it. I actually want young girls to be like me. I want to see women as engineers. I want to see women as CEOs. I want to see women in the boards. But I cannot just make this dream a reality upon myself. So I have calls to actions for you all. The first call to action I ask is to engage with people where they are. If you know a woman or a girl interested in STEM, encourage her to follow her passion, even if you do not understand where it may lead. The second question I have, or the call of action I have for you, is to participate within the blockchain community. It itself is establishing a new economy that all people have the ability to partake in. Find out more engage, be part of it. The third question I have or call to action I have of you is to reach out to my organization, Shul, and let us know what type of experiential learning are in your communities. Maybe these are opportunities that are not yet on the world stage, but they should be, and they should be accessible to all people. At Shul, we believe that experiential learning and STEM and technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics can be made cool again and should be accessible and verifiable to all people. Thank you so much for having me.